Oh boy, I have a very exciting video for you right now. I'm at the world debut of the all new 2025 Nissan Kicks. It's a subcompact, very small crossover. It now has all wheel drive, it has a lot, new, a lot of new features, but this is not just about the new Nissan Kicks. It's also about affordability. That's why I'm super pumped about this video because this introduces all wheel drive to the subcompact segment. New styling, as you can see right there. Wow. It's really striking in person. I love how aggressive it is. It almost looks like a, maybe a bigger SUV or even almost little pickup truck like. I really love this. This is an SR wheel drive you see here. They're also gonna have front wheel drive models. They have an updated two liter four cylinder engine with more power. We don't have final power figures yet, but the interior is where it's at. Let me show you really quick new materials oh yes bose stereo system in the speakers for the driver and now for the passenger and take a look at the dash yes big huge screens this appears to be the theme going forward at this show and for most automakers kind of offering a lot of features at slightly lower um, segments and lower price classes. I love all the little details, little orange trim. Of course, plenty of USB-C. Um, haptic touch, touch control for the climate control system and a knob right here for volume. And of course, a large screen about 12.3 inches right there. I'm not sure how I feel about the haptic controls down here instead of knobs but heated seats are available, huge cup holders. This really has the American market in mind. Let me get a little bit more light here. And new styling, let me show you once again what it looks like in profile as I step back just a little bit, two-tone paint. Look at those wheels and look at the rear. That theme kind of continues. It's got a little kink right there in the back red roof in this case i said kick no pun intended and yeah so this is exciting so nissan is switching it up a little bit their previous kicks was not all-wheel drive it was very affordable starting price on the 2024 kicks uh is and was about twenty-one thousand five hundred bucks maybe a little bit more with destination charges um this price i think we don't know yet but i think it will grow a little bit in price um, i have a little bit of knee space here there's a cutout right there in the seat my head touches a little bit i'm just about six three and i think it's because of this panoramic sunroof which is um i mean a crazy feature here at kind of this segment of car so this is not going to be a super cheap version of it. This is like fully loaded show model. So basically Nissan is showing you what's possible. But I'm going to show you three others. I'm going to show you a Toyota. I'm going to show you a Chevy and a Honda. This is a very crowded segment. Nissan needs to bring their A game to compete. So even though the price of this, I'm guessing, is going to be a little bit higher. And I'll tell you how it compares in price to others so you can get an idea. But if you're shopping for a kind of start, starter car, first vehicle, maybe a college vehicle or a young family vehicle, uh, this is very, very important. So when, it's, when it is front wheel drive, it'll have a torsion beam rear axle. And let me show you really quick, uh, up to 30 cubic feet of space. But this is not it. This is the all wheel drive model. So this space because they have to package the rear differential and the rear independent suspension design uh, the floor comes up and you lose a bit of cargo ability even though this bin, these bins are very huge still so it becomes about 23.5 cubic feet but 30 cubic feet with front wheel drive that's a huge number so now let me take you to see another vehicle so you can see exactly how the new kicks compares and now i'm in the toyota booth and i have to show you this vehicle because it 
is a big seller for Toyota. Of course, I'm talking about the 2024 Toyota Corolla Cross. This subcompact crossover came out a couple years ago, and then slowly but surely, Toyota has updated it with all-wheel drive, hybrid technologies, and is offering a full lineup of this machine. And they're very successful, so Nissan has a tall order if they want to compete against something like this. So let's take a look at a couple of numbers, and then I'll show you around. Uh, like I said, hybridization um, is important, and efficiency is important. And this is kind of a dark edition of the Corolla Cross. This is the hybrid. Um, if you talk about cargo volume, the Corolla Cross offers between about 21 and a half to about 25 cubic feet of rear space. And you can see there's a couple of different levels here, of course. The seats fall down. And the interior, at least on this one, is kind of monochromatic. And the cargo volume, as you just heard, is a little bit less. Actually, about five cubic feet less than in um, front wheel drive Nissan Kicks, the new one. You can see there is a little bit of stitching here. Of course, many different options and models are offered. The starting price for the Corolla Cross, it starts at around 24,000, just over that. That's for the non-hybrid uh, version of it. And of course, uh, once you load everything up, um, you could cross the $34,000 mark, just like you can with some others I'll show you a little bit later in this video. I want to show you fuel efficiency here because this is where the strength is of the Corolla Cross. 45 city, 38 highway, and 42 combined, at least for the front wheel drive model with a hybrid. And the price right there, 33384 and it feels just like a, most Toyotas. I mean, you, you'll be very familiar with this. If you've had another Toyota, that's kind of what Toyota does best, is it feels familiar, it feels kind of common. Drive mode selector, shifter. You don't have to learn new control systems. It's pretty nice and useful. Let me kind of sit behind myself really quick. I am just about 6'3", sorry, I hope there's enough light. My knees are touching just a little bit. So it's not a huge vehicle, but it's a great first vehicle for a family or for a college vehicle. Like I said, Toyota, I think, I think they stand out in this segment with a breadth of different models and also fuel efficiency. But like you see, it could get pricey at about what 33 or 34,000 for the top of the line models or maybe even above that for some all wheel drive models. All right, let's move on to the next one. And this is another crossover that the all new Nissan Kicks must compete against. I'm in the Chevrolet booth and this is the new 2024 Chevy Trailblazer. And I can show you a couple of them here in the booth. This really cool blue one is the RS, kind of a sporty model. So this is near the top of the range. So this matches kind of what you just saw from the Nissan Kicks all-wheel drive, the all-new 2025 model. And as you can see, the shape may be a little bit similar, slightly different design. Chevrolet does something interesting under the hood because they're offering um, actually a pair of turbocharged engines. You can have either a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine with a continuously variable transmission or a 1.3 liter turbo with front wheel drive systems. And then you can also have a 1.3 liter with a nine speed automatic. So it's kind of all turbocharged power all the time. Horsepower begins at 137 horsepower and tops out around 155 horsepower for kind of the most powerful version of the new Trailblazer. And as you can see here, the price on this one is 28,395. 
for this almost fully loaded RS model. So I'm thinking the Nissan Kicks may have a price that's similar to that. Now let me show you the inside really quick. I'm gonna get my light going. So you can see this motif is very common to what Chevrolet has been using in most of their vehicles. You can see nice red stitching. It's actually pretty comfy, power seats right there. Let me get in. Nice cup holders. There's different drive modes down here and pretty nice screens right in front. There's about an eighth inch display for the gauge cluster and a larger display here for the infotainment system. There are nice knobs down here for the climate control system over here and nice red accents throughout. The starting price for the Trailblazer is around between $23,000 and $24,000. You kind of sit here in the back. You know, I kind of fit behind myself here. My knees are just barely touching. Once again, I'm about 6'3". And here's kind of the back of the vehicle. I kind of like the sporty look with the twin exhaust pipes here in the back of the RS. They also have the active, let me quickly show you this one. And the fuel efficiency numbers are 26 city, 29 highway and 27 combined, at least for the all wheel drive models uh, with a 1.3 liter turbocharged engine. So this is another version of it. It's called the Active. So slightly different theme, different colors. I love the two-tone once again, white and yellow. And slightly larger exhaust pipes here, just a different look. So this is, this is what Chevrolet has to offer. Now let's take a look at the next competitor. And I'm gonna finish this comparison right here at Honda booth with the Honda HRV. And yes, of course, I could go to many other manufacturers and see some more subcompact crossovers, but this video will be an hour long and you would fall asleep. But I think Honda HRV is also a very important entry in the segment, very competitive and showcases slightly different design. It's a little bit more sleek. The roof line is a little bit lower, it's a little wide. So it has kind of a slightly different design aesthetic, almost like a wagon, I would say. And the pricing for the front wheel drive model HRV starts at $24,600. The all wheel drive model starts at $26,000. And of course, prices can increase from there. I love this red color as well. So, and very kind of slightly conservative look, but a lot of people love that. Because like I said, this could be your first car or your starting family car. Let me show you the interior really quick. And we can also talk about the cargo capacity because I think now that's a big differentiator. These vehicles are getting slightly larger and this one is nice. This has kind of this leather interior, a floating center console. There's a shifter. It uses a two liter straight four, four cylinder with about 157 horsepower. And you could see this rear seat folded and you can see a little bit of the cargo space right there and how it looks. So there's quite a lot of space in here, but if I pop the trunk, I pop the hatch here, about 24.5 cubic feet of space although there are cutouts here on the sides that make it a little bit more cavernous. Um, and of course, most of these crossovers have, when you fold all the seats down, have about 55 cubic feet of total space with the rear seats down. So they're quite competitive when you fold the seats down, but it appears to be that the Nissan Kicks is the king, at least for now, in the front wheel drive version for 
rear cargo space at up to 30 cubic feet right behind those second seats. So there you have it. Starting price is around 24,000. Final pricing around what pushing 33, 34, 35,000 for most of these. So I think this is where the Nissan Kicks needs to land and offer unique style like it does. And we'll, we'll figure out what the fuel efficiency on the Nissan is, what the pricing is, and as soon as it comes out near the summer. Thanks for joining me from the New York Auto Show. Check out oldtfl.com for a lot more coverage from the show. Here's another HRV, oldtfl.com. I really appreciate you guys. Hopefully this video was very helpful. I I'm excited by this because affordability is a big key in the current market. I'll see you next time.